bitch, I turned you out. You won't catch me in no sharp boots, I burned them out. Bitch, you gotta wait till they birthday to go out of town. Yeah, I talk a lot of shit. He like who you think you is, nigga, not your bitch. my channel i'm be michelle if you're new here you might as well go ahead and subscribe as y'all can see by today's title i am doing an at home maintenance slash self care routine as y'all can see as y'all can look at me and see baby like i'm in need of something this week not even glued down but i'm in need of lashes hair nails like i've been like living rough for the <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all how long. But I've always been a DIY type of girly, do it yourself. I always do my own hair, nails. I mean, there's sometimes when I get my hair done by somebody else or get my nails done. But majority of the time, I'm doing it myself. And I just wanted to show y'all some of the things that I do that will help y'all become a baddie on a budget and save money. But today, we're doing everything doing my hair doing my lashes i'm waxing eyebrows and nails it doesn't even matter how much money you have like it's always good to save money and do something yourself or at least try so let's go ahead and get started so this wig first of all it's not even glued on it don't look that bad never mind put this wig on for the sake of the intro but i'm about to take it off i gotta redo my ball cap i'm going to be reinstalling this wig that i had custom highlights in i am trying to reinstall some of the wigs that i do have because i want to really get into like wig and stuff like that and perfect it not necessarily saying like doing somebody else's hair but on myself so we're gonna be re reinstalling that wig and i'm gonna go ahead and get the basics done like my wig cap and stuff i'll see y'all when i get the wig on and then i'll let y'all see me attempting to style the wig yeah, let's get into the video. It's gonna be a good one, so y'all need to stay. Okay, so I got my cap on, waiting for my glue to dry, and I think it's coming out good. I used to struggle with this part about like the glue, it would just be so messy to me, but I'm still learning. I'm waiting for everything to be clear so I can lay my weight down. I'm also filming this on TikTok, so if it comes out right, you will see this on TikTok. If you're not following my hair page on TikTok, it is at Holly's Cools. It really is like a natural hair type of hair page, but I'm trying to incorporate more wig installs. I'm going to try to incorporate a lot of things on that TikTok, actually. So, if you're not following it, go ahead. Well, I feel like some parts are dry and then some parts are white and it makes me feel like if I don't go ahead and put it on like it is gonna be it's not gonna be tacky anymore okay it's still a little white but I feel like I need to put it down now hopefully it don't mess up nothing We got it all installed. We are going to do a side part with these.
testing relationship Not based on ownership You love me despite myself I can't do a left edge, I need help! <laughs> I'm getting hot Sometimes I, I fight myself I just can't believe that you would have anything to do with someone so insecure, someone so... Okay, I think I'm done with my hair. Um, I wish I could bring this up so I can see. So, I tried to do like a little halo braid thing. I don't really know how I'm liking it. I may end up taking it down. I really just need it for like TikTok purposes, but because they're really not secure and I don't know how to secure them so I'm probably just going to take mine. All done with my hair. I just, I don't really know how to curl with the curling iron so I just did some soft one curls. But I'm going to clean up and then next we're going to wax my armpits. We've done our hair and it's time to wax. It was not my first time waxing myself. Um, today we are going to be using wax strips. I do have some um, wax that you have to warm up in the microwave. I have that. But I don't know. I feel like they changed the ingredients to it. Because I tried to use it a couple days ago. And it would not pick up any hair. I'm just waxing my own piece today. Everything else is already good. So I have these strips. I tried to wax something else with these strips and they didn't pick up any hair. So we're gonna see if they came out on pigs. So I think what I was messing up with the last time, the reason why it wasn't picking up any hair, I didn't rub it. So you gotta rub the wax. Cause I don't, don't I my own hair? I feel like it's too much. Y'all under my arms. I don't have much hair, but hopefully the little hair that I have, it gets sick. All right, let's take my arm out of the shirt. This probably is too long. I think I'm gonna cut it down. Ooh, I should've cut this. Ooh. <laughs> Wax my armpit before I don't know. Okay. Mm. See? That wasn't even bad, but it didn't get all my freaking hair. It's a good hurt. Mm. Ready? Woo! Now that one hurt. No, I'm sorry, y'all close and up personal, but at this point we sisters now because I'm showing y'all everything. Think about some. that way that jump hurt what that look like my skin is on here y'all see those dark parts that's my skin ain't it all right i'm gonna be done like this is all we can get done because no it comes with these um finishing wipes so hopefully this gets all the glue out i ain't even care that it's not getting out of the hair. We just gonna move on to the next arm because I done already been pulled that thing off too many times. <laughs> I should've just used the other wax. Girl, you know I can provide whatever you need. Whatever you need. Yeah, need to reach for this bit. Mm. <gasps> I see blood in that one. It's not all off, but <laughs> we done. <laughs> we'll figure out the rest later. So now we are about to shape our eyebrows up. I've also been doing this for a while, just because back at home 
I would go to the same lady every time. But if sometimes she got lazy with it, I would have to go home and do it myself. So, but what I use for this, I use these facial wax strips. One of these that you can get from like the beauty supply store. And I also sometimes use like a, um, what's it called? A tweezer. <laughs> So these little strips are the same concept as the wax that we just did to wax our armpits, but they're smaller. So they made these are actually for your face. I usually like to cut these in half so I could be able to wax my brows. So I usually just cut them in half like this and it gives me something to work with or cut them in fours like this and get all these hairs. Clean them up because sometimes my brows can grow really wild. I still like them to be thick. I don't like skinny eyebrows. If I had my tweezer, I could clean up a lot better, but I feel like this is good. It's hard to see a difference because my eyebrows are so light. Let's go and clean them up. I really don't give it an arch because my hair grows like all the way down here, so I always have like wild hairs here. And like right here, so I just kind of shape up the ends a little bit, but I still like them to be thick. That's done, so check out the list. Okay, so now we are going to do our lashes. Y'all, we're almost getting to the end of the maintenance video. But we're gonna be doing our lashes. I am a cluster girly. I've been doing clusters before. They got really popular on um, TikTok. I've always done fat lash. This is from Amazon. 16 through 8 millimeter. I don't like really long lashes. A D curl. I wanted to try a C curl, but I don't know why I got D again. But I usually go for a cat eye look. So basically, the highest length on the outside of my eye and it goes short to the inner of my eye because I have almond eyes and I feel like that looks the best on me. I usually use the was it Foscara? I don't know what my Foscara one is, but I do have some glue from a promo that I did a while ago. And then to put them on, I just use these little things. Very easy. This probably takes less than 10 minutes. So we're probably going to go with 40D lashes on the bottom. My largest size is probably is going to be the 16. And I may just jump down to a 13 just for the dramatic cat eye. Okay, I'm about to put, I feel like it drastically goes down. So I'm gonna put a 14 underneath. All right, this is this eye. And then I'll be back when I'm done with those eyes. I'm done with both eyes now. They actually given too dramatic. I should have used 30 instead of 40. It's giving volume. I don't know how I feel about volume sometimes. Coming to the end 
of a maintenance vlog. The last thing to get done is these nails. I got some French gel tips from Amazon. And I got the glue and like the coating for the French tips. And I also have an UV light. Never, I'm excited about this because I've never done the French tips. I've always, I've done gel tips before, but I've done the one you paint them yourself. Like they come clear and you paint them yourself. But these are already French tips. And it comes with a lot of sizes and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out my sizes and glue them on. And what you do is you go ahead and get your sizes out. You glue your nail on with the gel glue, not regular nail glue, gel glue, and you have to put your nail under the UV light for it to set. Before you glue the nails on, you want to buff your own nails to make sure that they're rough enough so the nail sticks. And so when you get your nails on, you go over it with the gel builder and the top coat and that just makes them look like you got them done at the salon or it just gives that little glossy look. So I'm going to go ahead and find my sizes to my nails and then I'll show y'all everything. So I'm all done with gluing the nails on and they, I feel like they're on like really good. I don't feel like, wish I had something hard, like they ain't coming out blue. But the only thing about them is I like my nails really short, like really, really short. So I don't, yeah, I have a whole nail kit, but I don't have it with me. So that's looks but i'm pretty sure the next time that i do my nails i'll have it but as of right now i'm probably just going to have to cut them and file them i did buy a nail file but this thing is so soft like it's not really i don't know if it's gonna do a job but i like my nails really short and um square so i'm gonna try to file them the best that i can <sighs> with this Follow that I have. I don't think it's gonna do the job, so we're gonna try. Okay, so I successfully cut them down and I don't like how it's looking. They still a little bit too long for me, but this will do. So this is me after I cut and filed them down. And then this is how they really are. So that looks good to me. Like it comes with a good length of French tip on them and I cut them down to this. So we're gonna do the other hand and then we'll start the builder gel and the rest of that. Sometimes it's hard to tell so you may not be in the mood to learn what you think you know. There are times when I find you want to keep yourself from me. When I don't have the strength, I'm just a mirror. You are love. You're the positive mother. 
Okay, so I'm finally done with my nails. This is what they look like. It's giving salon. Don't lie, it is. This hand on the other hand, on the other hand, this hand is okay, but I feel like this one looks way better. I shake and pound down. I feel like there's so much light to where you really can't see. Let me get out of the way. That's what my nails look like. They look so cute. Like, you can't tell me these ain't nail. Like, I ain't went to the nail shop and got those on. I do like the French tips that I got from Amazon. I will be purchasing them again when I run out or if I run out. These will be my new go-to. Can say, um, if you are considering doing your nails this way, get a bigger... You be like, I do have one, but I don't have it with me. Like I said, I don't have my nail kit here. It took so long to, for my nails to dry. That concludes today's maintenance video at home. I hope this video benefited you some type of way. Um, you have some at-home self-care maintenance day remedies or routine. Also, let me know. That will help me out. So, like, I want to know too, girl. What y'all be doing? Y'all be doing y'all? I feel like I've I done a whole nine today. Like, what else? Y'all be piercing y'all own. I just want I pierced my own ears before, so that's nothing new. Hopefully, we can keep this series up and we can do like different styles and my hair, different nails. I do want to get like some rhinestones maybe to put on these nails. I feel like they're so cute. Like the camera not doing no justice. These nails are cute. But that's the end of today's video i'll catch y'all in my next one i hope y'all like it if you did like this video make sure to leave a thumbs up please like this video let the likes in the views match if y'all don't know if y'all like the video that's how youtube pushes my video out so make sure to like this video also come in and you know give me some tips or let me know if you're interested in some of the things that i've done today so bye see y'all